house of the Lord this morning. Uh, you know, when, well, at least when I pull up to a church, they're all preachers the same way, but when I see cars in the driveway, it, it brings tears to my eyes. Uh, Sunday mornings of the world, they don't come to this place. every Sunday, put aside the world, let God bless you through your weeks, through your days, you'll understand why you see a kid like me sitting there just crying his eyes out. I love the Lord. I love everything he does for us. He blesses us. He goes with us. He, uh, he's there in time of need. In times of... Uh, uh, when you don't feel worthy, in times of uh, uh, when you feel maybe a little down, He's always there. In times of joy, He is always there. So bow with us in a word of prayer. Father, we thank You, Lord, for this day, Father. We thank You for all the many blessings You've bestowed upon us, Lord, and all the blessings You've bestowed upon this people, Father. We just thank You once again. Uh, for giving us an opportunity, Lord, just to stand and proclaim thy name, Father. Pray, Lord, over the scriptures here today that you've given me to read, Lord. We pray that uh, your word would just go out here today, Father God. But most of all, we pray if there's anybody in this place today that's lost and undone, Lord, that they uh, would be drawn nigh unto you, Father. The only way to be uh, saved by the grace of God is by your drawing power, Lord. And we know what that is, and we know what that feels like, Father. Uh, uh, we call it conviction, Lord. Uh, uh, if there's anyone here lost today, Lord, we pray their conviction upon them, Lord. Uh, uh, once again, we pray for this church and all the families here, Lord. And, uh, we pray for the ones that are born again, Lord God. Just give them, uh, just give them the time to rejoice, Lord, and allow them, Lord, just to worship you in spirit and truth today, Lord. We thank you for all the things you're going to do, Lord, and we thank you for your Son, Jesus, uh, Lord, and all the things that he does, Father. We just... Go with us today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, uh, when you pray in Jesus' name, you're praying in the one. You're the same power that uh, rose, uh, rose, the same power He's given on to us. Go with me in John chapter 17. There's been a lot of scriptures that's been brought to the table. Uh, I'm going to try and hone in on the spear as best I know how. Uh, pray for us as we stand and pray for us as we go. It says, These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son that the Son also may glorify thee. Thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many thou hast given him. And this, uh, this life eternal, that thou might know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou, uh, who he sent. I have glorified thee on earth, and I finished the work which I, uh, thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, which the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Before the world was, uh, Jesus was there, the one that uh, died on the cross, the one that, uh, that shed the, the blood for your sin. He was there before the world uh, was laid. Before the foundations of the world were even set, Jesus was there with the Father. He came down, uh, uh, was sent through a virgin. Uh, 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 no one understood it. Uh, uh, the people around him didn't get it. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, God had a plan. When God has a plan, uh, uh, most times the world uh, uh, won't understand it uh, uh, until it goes through, uh, until it's finished. They'll sit back and they'll say, uh, well, yeah, God was right. Why don't we notice? 
to sit through it, right? Why don't we understand what God's going to do through it? It says, down there in verse 10, it says, All mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. I read that again, it says, All mine are thine. If you are born again of the Spirit of God, you are of the Father because you're of Jesus, who is the only begotten Son of God. It says, and thine are mine. All of what the Father has is uh, Jesus's. He owns all things. Uh, he owns it all. If you're of the Father, you're not poor. You're not poor. Understand what I'm telling you. Uh, uh, you're of the kingdom of God. Uh, a world that has not been seen. Uh, a place that's been made uh, uh, without hands. It's been spoken to existence, the world we live in. Imagine what the kingdom looks like. God has spoke this world, made this world in seven days. Go out and look at it. Imagine what the kingdom looks like. A lot to think about that. I am glorified in them. He's saying, I, me, Jesus, I'm glorified in them. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First uh, John 4, uh, 4. 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me. He leadeth me. Let's go to that. Psalms 23. Let's flip over to Psalms 23. The book of Psalms. A lot of it's written by David. It was David. Well, when he was small, he was a shepherd. It was our Lord. He was a carpenter. But our Lord's also the good shepherd. Understand how David fought off bears, beasts, to protect his flock. He took down a giant with a sling. That sling that he had, that's what he protected his sheep with. I love the Bible. I love the Lord. I love the Word of God. It says there in Psalm 23, uh, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures and leadeth me beside the still waters. The green pastures, not, not the pastures that are dying and brown, but he leadeth me beside uh, still waters. Waters that you can drink out of, waters uh, uh, that, that run freely. He restoreth my soul. Started off today by telling you that most people don't come to this place on Sunday mornings. But when you come to this place, uh, it says forsake not the, uh, the assembly of yourselves. Forsake not. Come together. Fellowship with one another. He restoreth my soul. When you come into this place, you get revived. It's done right. Spirit is there. You're going to be revived. I want to go where the Spirit is at all times. When the Spirit's there, that's where I want to be. Because when the Spirit's not there, you're looking into the world. You're entertaining the lust of this flesh. But when the Spirit's there, you don't mind nothing else. You just let the Lord work and go what He has you to do and understand you are serving the living God. Restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Now watch this one. For his name's sake. Everything you do is for him. And you point back everything to him. People say, well, how? What? Huh? The Lord. People will often, oh, what do you mean you 
follow something you can't see. Yeah. Because he calls me blessed for it. He told old Thomas. What did he tell Thomas? We know what he told Thomas. Old Doubting Thomas. Think about how blessed John was. He wrote the whole book of the book of Re Revelation of Jesus Christ. It's not the book of Revelations. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. He's coming back. And John recorded that whole book on an island in the Spirit of God. He, had, he didn't have Google. He didn't have a computer. There, there, there was no encyclopedias. <laughs> the Spirit of God! Live your life following the Lord at all costs! He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah! Yeah! Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. If you're, if you're here and lost, You're not going to make it. You're going to go to hell. There's eternal eternities waiting on everybody. It's where you're going to spend it. And it's not, it's not by what you do. It's already been done. When, when the Lord draws you, you go. It's a simple plan. The gospel is a simple, simple, simple plan. But what the devil does is he makes it very, very complicated on man. Holy Father, the creator of it all, sent his only begotten son for your sin. He sent him to come down here to walk with us, to talk with us, to teach us, to wash our feet, to, 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 to cause the, line, the, 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 the blind to see, the lame to walk. He took dirt and put it on a man's eye. He, he spit in the ground made clay, he put it on a man's eyes and said, go wash off in that pond over there. He said, can you see now? Everybody around him that knew him as blind, now he can see, and the man said it was Jesus. Imagine being there. I often wonder how it looked to really see a miracle be done. You know, when someone gets born again, that's what it is. When someone gets born again of the Spirit of God, that's what it is. The man had to go and wash his face off in the pool. It ain't a pond. If you're lost and you're being drawn here today, uh, uh, it could be out there by a tree, it could be under a truck, wherever it is, go. Wash your face off. Get born again of the Spirit of God and live for Him. Know that you're going to have bad days. Know that you're going to uh, know that you're going to fall. You're going to fall. What? Jesus won't let you fall back. He's going to push you forward and say, you need me. You can't do it without me. He's going to push you forward because he loves you and he's not going to shove you. It's, going to, it's kind of like he's spotting you the whole time. When, when all you want to do is just go back to your old way, no, turn you right around. The Holy Ghost, the Comforter, the one he sent. Go with me in John 16. <clears throat> John 16. Talk about trials. Talk about tribulation. When, when someone gets saved and born again of the Spirit of God, guess what? They still got to face the world. <laughs> Why do we always hear when someone gets saved, well, where are they? They got back out in the world. Mommy and Daddy, Grandma and Grandpa can only do 
through so much to get their loved ones into this place. It has to be willing. When mom and dad gives you a chore to do, yeah, I'll do that again. Or is it, I got you, Dad. I'll take out the trash. No problem. Got you. You, 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 you provide for me, Pops. You put the, the roof over my head and buy my clothes. The least I can do is take out some trash. The little ones, you listening? <laughs>
it was the contemporary songs that uh, came in. And then I got to understand and learn the hymnal. Uh, together, I feel like they're just a very powerful thing. If, if it's worship and done right. All things under the sun. Uh, uh, if we really understand God's righteousness, uh, understand the Bible and whatnot, uh, understand one thing here. What 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 mom and dad or uh, grandma and papa have taught you, and it doesn't line up with this. It's not right. Well, what lines up with this is right. As a people, we need to get to know this more. Amen. Me being the first one in line. <laughs> And not because I'm standing up here. Because I need to get to know my Lord more. I want to know more about my Lord. I want to know more. I love that song. I want to know more. I love that song because what it is, is it's, it's, it's a commitment. It's a dedication. When you're part of the Lord, you're a part of the one, the only one. The way, the truth, and the life. The way. The way we do things, there's a way, there's a truth, there's a truth, and there's a life. We have Him. I wonder, I just wonder here today, if anybody has someone on their heart, or anybody has a burden, or anybody has lost friends, lost family, if anybody has anybody that's born again and hasn't been here, maybe they're, maybe they're uh, sidestepping, you might say. We all have them. <laughs> Jesus is in control of it, though. Don't lose the faith. If there was a title to today's message... Uh, and I don't really off give titles because I just come up here and I just preach. But the title here today is probably Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Have faith in Him and don't worry about tomorrow because He's holding it. Today is the day of salvation. Rejoice in it. If you're here and lost today, it's today that you get saved. That's what it says when it says today is the day of salvation. He has made the day. He's made today the day. Today is the day. If you're lost, and if you're saved, rejoice in the Lord. All things are from Him. Brother, do we have a song? Yes. We thank the Lord for all His things that He does for us. We pray for this church. Just mind the Lord through this service. I'm going to pay for